A natural pain relief secret they don't want you to know about or even use. Hey guys, my name is Aaron Garza. I'm the founder here at Pureline Nutrition. We are located in Texas, and this is gonna be a super cool video. It's about a topic that I've been a little bit reluctant to talk about, but I finally decided, you know what, I think everybody deserves to know. Before I go on, hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you're updated on all our latest videos. Okay, so this is a video I've been wanting to make for a bit now, a little bit over a year, year and a half, and it's just something that I haven't gotten around to, and I just, Kind of really wasn't comfortable doing yet but the fact that i am seeing this item this product this plant everywhere i think kind of gives me um, a little bit more reason to do it so i'm going to go ahead and put it out there now what i'm talking about is kratom kratom is something that uh, you've probably seen or heard of either in a positive or negative light and i'm going to get down to the bottom of it really give you the 411 on it now what is kratom Kratom is essentially, uh, it comes from a tree, the Kratom tree, and it comes from Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Thailand. It grows wildly over there. People in those cultures that live in that area have been using it for thousands of years for everything from pain to the common cold, uh, giving it to kids. It's just kind of the culture like coffee is here. In fact, it's related to the coffee plant. Now, about 15 to 20 years ago, it's made its way into North America. It made its way into the American market and it was kind of a very you know, little, a very subtle product. Not a lot of people were using it. Um, and it just started to grow in popularity very slowly up until the point now where you can pretty much drive down the street, find a smoke shop, a CBD shop, a vape shop, and nine times out of 10, they're carrying a various variety or a large variety of Kratom, Kratom extracts, et cetera. So it's become wildly popular. And there's a few reasons for that. Let's talk about the first one. The first one is simply that it does work, okay? That's something that I, you know, didn't realize actually how effective it was until I saw a family member use it who had debilitating back pain um, to the point where this, he knew he was gonna need surgery and he was trying to prolong it as long as possible. Um, and it actually helped him prolong the surgery for about a year. I mean, that's how effective it was at killing his pain. For example, he couldn't walk 10 feet and then without stopping and holding on to something. And after taking a Kratom extract, he was able to go for six, seven, eight hours, zero pain. So at that point, I knew we had something that really worked, number one. Uh, number two, it, offer, it also offers a bit of a relaxation and anti-anxiety type of effect for a lot of people, and that's one of the reasons it's used. And other people use it for sleep enhancement or for energy. It just depends on the type of dose that's used and the type of Kratom, as there are many types of Kratom available. Um, so what do you really need to know about it? Well. We know a couple of things. Number one, it does act on the same receptors in the body that certain medications like opiates do act upon. However, it's completely natural and doesn't have the addictive effect that a lot of those opiates do have. In fact, there's an interesting study in 2020 that was done at the John Hopkins School of Medicine, which shows that it actually is as effective as certain opiates, but doesn't have the actual type of uh, abuse potential that opiates have. And now the study also shows that that's kind of one of the reasons that there's been a lot of fear mongering around it is because it even is in the same category as something like this. But again, the study shows that the abuse, abuse potential is extremely low, if even at all, um, and it works extremely well. So there's also some financial interest that probably are not well served by having a product like this out there, a plant-based product that is completely natural, that comes from earth, that does work to kill pain. You can do the math. So those are a few different reasons as far as the negative and the positives. You know, now there are people out there that say they, you know, saw great effects from it, that they, you know, were able to carry on life because of it. And uh, I mean, the videos out there are out there, the testimonials are out there. Now there's several different types. And like I was saying earlier, I alluded to, um, there are extracts, powders, and even soft gels. Now, let me kind of take you through some so you have a little bit of an understanding. The first one we have is, this is a powder. Remember when I said it came from a tree? Um, it basically comes from the leaves of the tree. The tree leaves are then dried through a special process and then put through a grinding process and powder is actually created. Now, this powder, um, it tastes terrible, okay? And in this powder, I should also mention, 
there are some alkaloids that make this product strong. It gives the, the anti-pain effect that you're looking for. Those alkaloids are metragenine and 7-hydroxymetragenine. Now, they work extremely well. Um, but to take the powder alone is really, it's tough. I mean, the stuff tastes very gritty. It's got a horrible taste. Some people mix it into teas. Other people mix it into protein shakes. Uh, the issue is that you have to take a lot of it to get the effect that you're looking for or to get the effective dose of the alkaloid. Um, this is a kilo and, you know, some people take, you know, up to nine grams, five grams to 10 grams at a time. It just depends on your tolerance level and, and how much you need to get rid of pain. Now, like I said, it tastes really bad. So what's happened is we've started to put these into capsules um, and you start seeing companies do this. Essentially the capsules hold half a gram or 500 milligrams. There's also capsules that carry up to a gram of uh, Kratom powder in them as well. And in the beginning, you've got to kind of figure out what your dosage is. We always recommend people start with a very small dose and start working into it so they can kind of feel, you know, how their body is responding. Uh, the typical dose to start with maybe, you know, three grams, four grams, something on the low end just to see if it's working. The idea is to take the least amount as possible, but to get the benefit that you're looking for. Again, the capsules were done just so that you didn't have to swallow the powder. I mean, it was that bad. Now, interestingly enough, um, over the years, refinement processes have gotten even better, and now they're able to take the actual alkaloids, the metragenine, the 7 hydroxymetragenine and put them into shots that are as small as this or even into soft gel caplets like this, and you get the effect you're looking for, but without even having to take that many capsules. In fact, one of the soft gels has 30 milligrams of metragenine, which is the equivalent of about oh, 10 to 11 of our capsules, maybe a little less, but somewhere around there, which makes it extremely, extremely efficient to say the least. So uh, a lot of people are switching to these. So that's kind of the way that Kratom has evolved. Again, it started with a powder. Now you've got capsules, now even soft gels and extracts. There's a lot of different ways that it can be taken. And there's even extract powders that are even more effective where you just need like the tip of a teaspoon uh, worth and they give you the result you're looking for. All in all, again, like I said, the idea is to take as little as possible, but to get the maximum benefit for what you're looking for. Now, the benefits that we've seen range all the way from pain, uh, anti-anxiety. I've seen a lot of people who use it instead of anxiety medications. Uh, I also see people who are having using it for sleep and restoration, recovery. And in s low doses, some of the different blends actually help with energy as well. So really unique little plant. It does an incredible a variety of different things. But I would say the main thing that we usually see people coming in to us for is for pain relief. A lot of older people, and when I say older, uh, myself included, you know, people over 50, 60, 70, who have severe pain, who don't want to take any type of narcotic painkiller will instead choose plant medicine or something like Kratom. So very unique little product. Um, and it may be something that would be a possible consideration for a lot of people, but do your research, you know, really get in there, kind of dig around. There's several good YouTube videos on this uh, topic. There's a lot of documentaries. Leaf of Faith on Netflix is actually a really good one that talks a lot about how it actually has anti-addictive qualities that can be used by people who need help you know with opiate addiction in fact there's a whole bunch of people who have used this for relieving themselves from opiate addiction so that's another completely separate topic but an interesting way that kratom has been used and and like i said i think um it's been a little bit ostracized and a little bit fear-mongering has been involved in making people think it's really bad but I've seen a lot of people use it and have benefits from it and then stop using it just like that. I mean, it's not something that I think people will continue to take more and more of. I mean, it's just kind of impossible. Uh, the only negative thing that I've seen with it is when you take too much, you do tend to get nauseous and or throw up or, or get ill from your stomach. So it's a very interesting plan. And I think, like I said, there's so many potential benefits versus the negatives that I feel like it's something that should be explored. So check it out, do some research on it. I hope I gave you a little bit of information that'll kind of guide you. Um, it's a very basic overview as far as what I was able to give for you today. 
But I think it's worth looking at, especially if you're somebody who's suffering from pain or you're somebody who has issues with anxiety and you're looking to do something naturally versus you know, going the other route using medications. Guys, if you have any questions about Kratom or anything like that, make sure and give us a call or email us. Um, I've also put some links in the bottom. One of the links is to our favorite Kratom vendor, puritykratom.com. The other is to the study that I referenced in the video from John Hopkins. It's actually more of a uh, study-survey, but all that information will be in the description. Again, if you have any questions, email us at info at the pureline.com. Um, or call us 1-800-632-1402. And I'd love to hear what you guys uh, have experienced with Kratom or any other of our products or other products out there. Uh, so make sure and leave your comments in the comment section. All right, guys, until next time, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.